Hello and welcome to another Rank Arena Big Game, today coming to you from the Belmore Sports Ground between the Parramatta Eels and the Balmain Tigers. Well, down at Leichhardt in round one, Parramatta scored a resounding victory over Balmain by 42 points to 21. Now, going into this match today, Parramatta are under the knowledge that they certainly are in the top three for the conduct of the semi-finals in a fortnight's time. The Tigers also are assured of a semi-final place, but they haven't given up all hope of also making the top three, being just two points behind Canterbury Bankstown. Also coming back today for the Tigers, to boost their confidence even further, is their international lock forward and captain Wayne Pearce, who has missed a total of 11 matches with them. Wayne, you must be looking forward to today's game. Yeah, I always enjoy playing against Parramatta, but uh, I don't care who I'll be playing today as long as I'm back on the field. You've got no problems with the leg injury? No, no, I'm perfectly happy with it, and so is the specialist, so that's why I'm playing. Needless to say, the Eels of Parramatta go into this match today with their sights firmly set on taking out their third Premiership in a row. Well, with wins over Manly and East in the last fortnight, Parramatta are very quickly becoming everyone's favourites for the 1983 Winfield Cup. One man who's been in outstanding form for the Eels all season has been their utility back, David Lydiard. David, full back, centre, and wing today. Surely you must have a preferred position. Well, I prefer full back because uh, I've got a lot more room to move, and uh, I think it's my spot. Parramatta coming good at the right end of the season. Yeah, I think we've got our straps now. I think we can just continue on from here, and a big win from Balmain today. Uh, beat Balmain today, I think we'll go all right. And so there they go, the Eels of Parramatta. Making their way onto the Belmore Sports Ground for the last time in 1983. Lydiard, Hunt, Gross, Cronin, Quinn into the centres, replacing Ella. Kenny, Sterling, Taylor, Sharp, Jurd, Mayers, Edge and Bugden. And Wayne Pearce takes the Belmain side onto the field. And uh, he should get a mighty reception from the Belmain crowd as he goes out there with the, the youthful Tiger unit. There's the roar from the crowd. Jack. Lawson, Corowa, Davidson, Bridge, Ryan Lane, Pierce, Schofield, Brooks, Whitaker, Hemsley and Roach. There's the replacement lad for Parramatta, Ron Quinn. He was awarded with the um, Parramatta Patrons Rookie of the Year Award by former president Stan Simpson prior to this match today. He joins uh, an illustrious band including Jeff Gerard and Brett Kenny to name but two former winners. And there's over there David Brooks, who last weekend reached his 100 points for the year, his first year in Sydney football. And talking of rookies, he well could be the Dally M Rookie of the Year in 1983. And there's a fellow that I've often said to you, from a distance, looks very much like David Brooks or vice versa, but one wears a black headband, the other a, a yellow, uh, which does assist, let me tell you. Barry Barnes holds down the number one spot. Not a bad crowd. I estimate this is up around 12,000. And there's Ray Price sitting up there in that uh, grandstand doing a two-week suspension as uh, the Tigers kick off. And it's taken immediately by Peter Sterling, given then to Eric Groth. He shows it to Lydiard and then he's hit hard, Groth. He caused Balmain heaps of trouble down at Leichhardt and they'll be... I guess sweating on Eric today. Ball played by Paul Taylor. Would have to go down as one of the smallest lock forwards ever to play first grade league. And look at the enthusiasm in the Balmain tackles in the opening couple of hits. Sterling feeling the hit. And there's Bugden. Bugden taken by Pierce. That was a Wayne Pierce gem, but a penalty's gone to Parramatta against the Tigers being inside the five. Ooh, there was plenty of sting in that tackle from Pierce on Bugden. Michael Cronin, in great form, takes the kick for line, finds it right on the halfway. Well, there was plenty of sting in the opening three or four tackles by the Balmain forwards, and I'm sure we'll see that same thing happen again here. Here's Gross now, a run of 10 metres. And that's what the young need uh, in this first 10 minutes, to do what Manly and East weren't able to do in the last fortnight, keep Parramatta trialless in the opening period of the game. Here's the Parramatta run around, something that uh, they use on nearly every back, uh, back line raid. And Lydiard it is who plays it on the halfway line. Edge is taken by the defence, but again, Balmain are gone for inside the five. They, uh, Balmain, I am not absolutely sure of the last time they played under Barry Barnes, but Barnes, as I've said so many times, he is very strict on the 
on the five metres in the opening exchanges. And whereas uh, Parramatta have grown accustomed uh, to playing under Barnes over the last four or five weeks, uh, the Tigers will have to adjust to his uh, ruling on the five. Now the tap to be taken by the Eels, by Stan Jurd. This could be the, the dual forward um, pirouette, but in fact it's not. It's, it's a, a replica of the, uh, the move that uh, they got pinged for. Well, they didn't actually get pinched for against Eastern Suburbs, but Lydia did score the try last weekend, and they didn't use the four-man wall, just a two-man wall. But it was the same move. So Gibson has taken two men out of the wall, it would appear. And another penalty against Balmain, again up inside the five. Well, this is right in front for Michael Cronin. So Cronin satisfied with it. Just a short uh, run back, and then he hits it, and it's sweet. Straight between the uprights for Michael Cronin and Parramatta. Lead Balmain, two points to nil. Back to square one. Kick off to be taken by Ron Ryan. 18 year old, 5 8. David Lydiard. And he's held just outside the 10 metre line. Quinn to the blind side he goes. Oh, picked up and driven. That was a good tackle there by Schofield. Now to the blind side. A bit of disorganisation amongst the Parramatta players as they sweep it to a narrow blind and Paul Mayers to play it. Edge, Taylor. Sharp. Ooh, I saw a swinging arm and Barnes saw it too. It came from Roach. Bugden in, picking Sharp up off the deck. See it? Oosh! Goodness gracious me, I Happy for Stephen Sharp that he just uh, ducked his head in. Well, it's all well and good to be enthusiastic in defence, but you can't take enthusiasm to the point where you're going to give away penalties. So Parramatta comes up with their fourth penalty in the first four minutes. Yeah, Parramatta is certainly trying to put uh, Parramatta under all sorts of pressure, but uh, it may just work the reverse if they continue to give those penalties away where Parramatta can then enjoy the uh, all, all the possession and uh, get play right down in Balmain's half once again. So let's look at this Parramatta move now as the two forwards run to the blind and then it comes to Sterling and he floats it. Ooh, growth. Growth put it down and uh, Lane has it for Balmain. So the Tigers get their first touch of the ball other than kicking off and here's a penalty against Parramatta being inside the five and a chance for David Brooks to level up the scoreline. Referee is standing on the 22 line. 20 metres in from touch is David Brooks. Takes a very short uh, run back, Brooks. Pretty much like a, a former St. George player or... Canterbury player. Henry Canterbury Tartner. player. Henry Tartner, yes. Jack Gibson with reserve grade coach John Money. Right arm or the right wrist area of uh, David Brooks. Heavily supported. 2-0 Parramatta. Not for long by the look of that one. It's two points all in the Rank Arena big game. <laughs> Hemsley switches it across the ruck and picks up Schofield. And also the number of times that he's the first man to back up a break. And now fed back to Ryan. And there goes the big kick. Ryan undoubtedly will be taking on the responsibilities that Steve Martin carried out for Balmain down at Leichhardt when they made a match of it for quite some, uh, quite some portion of the match. But Martin's not there today and Ryan has that duty of trying to upset the swarming Parramatta defence with uh, a variation of kicks. Out now to Paul Mayers, out very wide and hit hard, taken to ground, three-man tackle. The way uh, Ron Quinn's playing, it's obvious that he's moved into the 5A position to allow Kenny to go out in the centres with Cronin, but they've got to be careful too with Cronin also keen to be in and around the rucks that their back line just hasn't really been set out once yet in the, in the match so far. Now Stan Jurd to play it. Dummy half is Quinn. Out to Sterling. Sterling gets a kick in. Came down off a Balmain player. Picked up by Gary Briggs. That's a charge down. It's no knock on. It's a try. 
try to Gary Bridge, who from memory scored the first try for Balmain at Leichhardt in round one. Now the charge down is a defending player endeavouring to charge a kick down, rising off the boot. And Gary Bridge went in, picked it up and put it down for the first try. Mistake to either side now, but uh, opportunist on the spot and away he goes. Bounce of the ball, but a great start for the Tigers. 22 years of age, basically uh, was playing 5'8 last year, Gary. And uh, he's a very talented player in this Balmain three-quarter line. David Brooks using, uh, well, not quite the mound that he used to kick that penalty earlier. He's 10 metres in from touch, 24 metres out, and a chance to send the Tigers to an eight points to two lead. The big crowd as a backdrop. The camera shoots up at uh, David Brooks, and he's hit it sweetly. A goal to Brooks and sends the Tigers. 8-2 in the Rank Arena big game. Cronin having a look at the men back in the in-goal area for Balmain. Tries to pick a weakness if he can, but he uh, has found Ron Ryan this time. Out 10 metres from the Balmain line. Schofield. Sterling around the legs, Bugman over the top. Now it's Lane, nippy halfback, taken by Quinn and Mayers. And now Roach, met by Mayers. Hemsley, Hemsley, four Parramatta players converge on him. Yes, firstly it was a good run from Roach and then a good run from Hemsley. In those two, Balmain have got two of the best young props running around in Sydney football. Ryan's kick uh, has been taken by Sterling. He's looking for growth. Taken 27 metres out from the Balmain line. Growth away from dummy half. Just inside the quarter. As Taylor, now Sharp. Sharp running strongly. But in every tackle you'll find three or four opponents. Now Sterling on the blind. Growth comes to Corowa. And uh, Larry Corowa, with Steve Roach's help, pulls him down. Eight metres from the line. Through Taylor. Quinn. Cronin. Now it's back to Quinn. Quinn turns it inside for Kenny. Outside for Mears. Away to Lydiard. And Lydiard is tackled. Ten metres up. Tackle number five. Bomb coming. Out to Quinn. There it goes. Not a bad kick. They all appear to be onside. Oh, what a magic take by Gary Jack. That was a superb take by the Balmain fullback. See it again. The Rank Arena replay of Gary Jack high flying. Away from dummy half now comes Gary Bridge. Try scorer. Lane out of the quarter. Held by Bugden and by Kenny. Uh, the pass has gone to Schofield. And in the back play, I see that uh, Neil Whitaker is down injured for Balmain. As uh, Gary Jack puts a kick in, it's going to Lydiard. Oh, he's got a good bounce. He's found touch just outside the Parramatta 22. Well, there's no doubt that Balmain have decided they've got to try and put Parramatta off their bustling style of, uh, of defence. And, of course, kicking is a very important part of that. David Lydiard making a gesture with his hand, uh, which said it all. Whittaker back on his feet. Parramatta win the scrum. Quinn run around for Taylor. Taylor promotes it upfield, gets a pass away to Cronin. Cronin holds and dummies. Now he's got nobody with him. Now he has his Kenny. Now, here goes David Lydiard. Now it's Eric Gross' turn. Gross walked over the top of one. Got rid of another. He's got the hooker to beat. Gets a pass away. It's to the ground. Oh, boy. Well, would you believe it? That try was virtually saved by Neil Whittaker back near his own try line, down receiving attention. Saw Parramatta make the break, got to his feet, and was able to put enough pressure on to cause a fumble by the Parramatta players. Yes, and see it again. Neil Whittaker just up on his feet. 
after getting some attention, says, heavens above, what's coming at me now? Eric Groth, on top of all I've just been through. And he was able to get a hand, it appeared, to the ball, and he upset a Parramatta tri-flow. How would you be? Down getting attention for about three minutes, Neil Whittaker gets to his feet, and all of a sudden, probably the greatest wing three-quarter in the world is charging down at you head on. This man, Eric Groth, he got rid of Gary Jack and Ron Ryan as though, honestly, they didn't present any problem. Corowa picked him up, and then Lydiard couldn't take it. Lawson. Taylor down below, Bugden over the top. Now it's with Schofield. Is Roach held on the halfway line? Jerd getting back into position. Now it's with Lane, Bridge, Dummy, double Dummy. In fact, he's given it to Lane on the run round. Picking up uh, Lawson. Lawson cut down by Hunt and by Sharp. Ten metres into Parramatta's area. Hemsley, long torpedo pass. Big pass by Hemsley. Out to Wayne Pearce. Turns it to Schofield. Lost behind. Now with Brooks. Brooks taken by Bugden. And over the top came Mears and Edge. Now that's five tackles gone for the Tigers. Here's Ryan. Just a chip of a kick. Kenny's coming across hard. And Kenny now stands, finds Lydiard. Lydiard's run into some pretty heavy traffic, though. Let's see if Parramatta can just settle back into their normal pattern of defence. Uh, I think they're playing it too close to the ruck. I'd like to see them just hit it up once or twice and then set their back line up, which is their strength. Oh, Cronin and Jurd did well before Quinn and Sterling handled and now Taylor. Taylor's lost it. And he's got a Balmain player. He's got uh, John Davidson. Now, it was on the blind side for us to see. The head-on will show it better. Um, he, I tend to think he's got Davidson for a high tackle. Let's see it on the head-on. Number three for Balmain is the player to watch. Yes, he's gone for a high tackle, but there certainly didn't appear to be very much in it. Parramatta getting the penalty. Already, I think we've seen the signs. Though Balmain are leading by eight points to two, they're going to have to try and contain Michael Cronin. He's been able to stand on a couple of occasions, and each time it's created problems for Balmain. Other than that, everything is sailing along sweetly for the Tigers. Played by Neil Hunt back to Steve Sharp. Sharp goes for a gallop five metres up to the ten-metre line, and they've got a few tackles up their sleeves now, the Eels. Taylor. Settles it for one from dummy half. Steve Sharp is in there now. Plays it back to him. It's spun across to Sterling. Now to Kenny. Kenny taken by the half. Gets it to Mares. Mares running high, wide and handsome. Back to Cronin. Cronin's in. Michael Cronin scores for Parramatta. After this young front row forward, Paul Mares has done very well. So too did Peter Sterling and Brett Kenny, let me tell you. Here's Kenny standing. Pegging up Mares, and Mares jinked off his right leg and came back inside, and Cronin called him, he said, outside, and Cronin was there. He was even still trying to pass Cronin, even over the line. Exactly, but he's in to score. Yes, it's exactly what we were just talking about. Parramatta settling up once, twice, and then a third time to use the back line out wide. Mares has plenty of pace. Mick Cronin reads the play brilliantly, and Parramatta playing to their strength, going for their first try. So, Parramatta come back to 8.6 down. It's not really a difficult kick for this man, Michael Cronin. Setting it up. He, of course, has had a travelling companion this year, Michael Cronin, and that companion has followed him on to Belmore today, Ron Quinn. And he's kicked at Cronin. So, we've got a scoreline in the rank arena big game of eight points all now. This crowd enjoying every second of this uh, first 27 minutes. It's been uh, action-packed and certainly no place for the faint-hearted. I don't think I've seen the enthusiasm in, um, in defence quite like we have in this match today, particularly from the young Balmain side. Sterling, Mayers. Cronin inside. Cronin's outside the 22. He's got Jerd with him. Cronin 
got his pass away, Sterling off his boot, referee says play on, now it's David Lidiard, but the referee has ruled a deliberate forward pass. Well, the cameras may see it differently, but uh, we had a fairly good view on that. The crowd go back to their seats. But here's what happened. Cronin, he had a look over his right shoulder and saw Jurd earlier, but he neglected to give it to him. Now, there it was coming off the boot of Sterling. That was OK. Now, it's this pass from Sterling to Lydiard. Well, it's line ball. I'm not prepared to buy into it. Well, I, I must admit, I thought it was sweet. So, Balmain get the penalty. I had to laugh at Michael Cronin under my breath, though. He... He made the break outside his 22. He looked over his right shoulder to see who was outside him and who was there. Stan Jurd. Cronin said, I better go myself for a few more paces. <laughs> Hoping he might find something with a bit more speed. And I say that without detriment to Stan Jurd. You all know what I think of him. So it's with um, Lane and Art Pemsley. The Tigers. Eight points all odd. Gee, Paul Taylor's hurt himself in that tackle. Taylor's in a lot of trouble as the ball goes along the Balmain backs. Davidson. Um, well, did he pass from the ground? Yes, he did. And the penalty has gone to Parramatta. Can we get back to Paul Taylor? After we see this replay, he went in for the tackle. It's his ankle. But uh, the trainer is working on it. I thought for a moment the worst had happened to that lock forward for Parramatta, Paul Taylor. That was the... There it was. In fact, he got the boot of Stan Jurd. So Cronin to take the penalty. Gee, we've seen some, uh, we've seen some penalties, haven't we? Well, here goes a replacement out for Parramatta in uh, number 18. It's uh, Greg Henry, and Ron Quinn is coming from the field. Lane coming in to make the tackle on Sterling with the help of Ryan. This is Steve Sharp picking up Steve Edge. Edge tackled on the halfway by his opposite number, Whittaker. And Sterling is the dummy half. Now it's Jurd. And he gets the pass to Sterling. Sterling to Growth. Growth comes to Corowa. Corowa's got him. Now it's with Taylor. This is uh, Henry. Now Cronin. Cronin turns it inside for Bugden up the middle. And Bugden up the top is Hensley. Down below is Brooks. You've got to give Hensley some marks, though. He's, he's made a heap of tackles. And he's really inspiring this uh, forward uh, defence from Balmain. Well, early in the year, I was critical of Hensley. I felt that he made too many second inches. Chip ahead by Sterling. Growth gets the bounce. Can't hold. Jack comes away with it. Sorry, Billy Anderson, but yeah. it looked as though it could have been a try on. <laughs> yeah, well, as I was saying early in the year, I was critical of Hemsley. I thought that he made too many second in tackles rather than first up. But he's he certainly changed all that in the second round of the competition. And his tackle count will be one of the top ones in the Balmain forward so far today. Corowa now to play it. Back to Schofield. This is Roach. Roach to Pierce. Pierce beautifully taken by Taylor. Couldn't model yourself on a, a better tackle than Paul Taylor. Hemsley, listen to the crowd roar. <laughs> They're calling for the Eels to get square, but Hemsley takes the tackle and gets up and smiles at them. Beautiful take by David Lydiard. Lydiard away from Davidson, over the halfway. Still going is Lydiard. Lydiard, tackle 32 metres out. Talking of rookies of the year, he could well be one of them. This is Jurd. Jurd just outside the 22. Good run by David Lydiard. Played back to Paul Mayers. Mayers gets a pass back to Sterling. Sterling looking for growth. He finds Cronin. Cronin's in for his second try. Blue and goal. They go up this time. Paul Mayers again involved. Took them on, three of them. Found Sterling. Sterling exploded to the corner, looking for growth, and he found Mr. Michael Cronin. Cronin says two tries. Well, for all their enthusiasm in this initial opening, uh, Parramatta, the experience showing out there, weathered the storm, the start here by Balmain, and two top players reading the game perfectly, Peter Sterling and Mick Cronin. But 
having spoken of the experienced players, the the inexperienced, if, if I can use that word loosely, Paul Mayers, he made that try happen. Three players he took to him before popping a pass off to Peter Sterling. Yes, as a young forward, he certainly developed at a, at a tender age, that ability to be able to stand in tackles and get the ball away to keep play flowing. And what did he do yesterday? He watched an entire day of junior rugby league. And, in fact, I can tell you for sure he puts plenty back into junior rugby league. Cronin. He's hit the upright. No goal. Parramatta leading Balmain in the Rank Arena big game by 12 points to 8. A beautiful day it is in Sydney. And a magnificent day for those people to be basking in the sunshine, watching two great rugby league clubs. Well, Taylor and Hunt. No talking. Absolutely no talking between Neil Hunt and Paul Taylor. Well, that's a fundamental mistake. One of the players had to call, but uh, that just didn't happen. Scrum packs. Scrum won by the Tigers. Lane, open side. And held by lock forward Taylor. Pierce. Now to Jack. On to Ryan. Out to Bridge. Bridge around Henry and uh, taken in defence by Stan Jurd. They keep the wrap to the left, it's Roach. Roach to Jack and Jack, Jack is over. Gary Jack has scored for Balmain. Well, this was uh, Stephen Roach taking them on and holding it up for Gary Jack and Jack with uh, sheer force, got, a, got over the top of David Lydiard's tackle to bring the score back to 12-all. Good comeback from the Tigers here, but the try was solely uh, caused because of Brett Kenny had failed to move up out wide in the backs and left that gap. Well, as well as that, Graham, it was also caused by an error from that kickoff where the Parramatta players allowed the ball to find touch. Balmain came up with the ball from the scrum and a try has resulted, and it shows you how fundamental errors can cost you points. So the attempted conversion for David Brooks. He's only brought it back 15 metres. And not too far off centre. And there's our old mate Laurie Nichols. Tigers, Tigers. <laughs> the chant goes up as Brooks prepares the conversion attempt. Well, those fellows don't have to be told what really started that try off. Frank Stanton sitting next to Steve Martin. As Brooks, oh, he's missed it. 12 points all, Parramatta and Balmain coming to half time in a few minutes. That could be costly to Balmain in the final wash up. Cronin's restart, it's uh, the shallower kick. Oh, it's gone over the touchline on the full. Well, well, they call them the Parramatta machine, but you wouldn't see them make two elementary errors like they did uh, oh, yeah. with uh, the kickoff from Balmain and then their own kickoff. Only well, a few minutes ago, we were talking about their experience, but uh, I thought they just tried to slow the play down to suit their own, uh, suit their own pattern, but uh, uh, really, uh, they're mistakes you wouldn't really be expecting in a junior match. Well, a player such as Ross Conlon would have had a kick from there. Uh, halfway wouldn't have, have been beyond him, but uh, Brooks isn't quite as long a kicker of the ball. But it, it does give Balmain the opportunity with only a few minutes to go before half-time to put some pressure on. And let's look for that bomb kick from Ron Ryan. Ball has been swung to the blind side to David Brooks, and Brooks taken by Jude initially and secured by Edge. Played back to Lawson, given to Lane. Now to Ryan, out wide to Bridge, coming into the back line. Out wide was Pierce, and Pierce is tackled there by Henry who came on as a replacement about seven minutes back for uh, Ron Quinn. This is Ryan. Ryan taken over the top by Henry, down below by Sterling. And it's played back and fed away to Roach. And Roach is taken by Bugden. Got his pass away, though. It's gone from Whittaker across out wide to Schofield. Schofield inside for Brooks. Brooks, uh, he's lost it inside the 32. A knock on. men go down fed by Sterling and that scrum takes Parramatta to 3-2 in that particular area 
and Hunter is who's going to play it half time two minutes away from dummy half or oh, Lydiard's pass has gone back into no man's land Mayers picked it up and uh, he's taken by Pierce this is sharp to Sterling Lydiard and Lydiard is taken by Hemsley and Roach Whittaker also in the tackle and here's Lydiard to play it now to Cronin Jurd Jurd gets rid of one, gets it to Edge, and Edge is taken by Schofield. Played by the Parramatta captain. Off goes Jurd. He's got the ball high, and then he realised that uh, he'd almost lost a grasp of it. And this is the last tackle for the Eels. Put back to Sterling. Sterling doesn't pass. Oh, gee, that pass to Kenny. Forward. That's the turnover. As the ball is played back to Hensley, it's gone across to Pierce. Out now to Lane. Lane came back in field just as they probably needed a, a quick stretch to the left. And uh, it's out now to Whittaker. Across to Ryan. Now to Bridge. Um, or Jack it is. And it's come across the ground to Roach. And Roach is held by Bugden and by Taylor on the halfway line. Inside the final 60 seconds of the first half as Hemsley gets a pass away it's loose on the ground Paramount will try and do something quickly with it here I would think no Sharp is taken to ground by Bridge and Sharp to play it back to Brett Kenny Kenny takes the tackle of Bridge Hemsley came over the top and the crowd roar uh, they believe that Hemsley went in with a tackle that was uh, illegal Mayers goes up and he's been forced back by the the defense of the Belmain uh, forwards now Taylor out to Sterling onto Cronin Cronin stands shapes to pass doesn't and uh, it's a scuffle for the ball but uh, Parramatta have still got it as the siren marks the end of the first half and that was a good half of football a few mistakes but probably brought about by some of the most solid defense that you could see in a game of league Parramatta and Balmain 12 points all at the break Welcome back now to the second half of today's Rank Arena Big Game. First try came off that charge down by Balmain. Gary Bridge coming in from the right of the screen, picked it up, went on with it, played to the referee's whistle, and he scored the first try of the match to send the Tigers to the lead. 27th minute, Michael Cronin strikes back for Parramatta. Sterling to Kenny, then Kenny was able to take the tackle of Lane. He picked up Paul Mayers who came inside, and then on the outside he heard the familiar call of Michael Cronin. Cronin in to score, and Parramatta had equalised. Again it was Paul Mayers at the 31st minute, taking on three defenders, and then Peter Sterling absolutely fired onto that pass, went off towards that same corner, and then stood in a tackle, and again Michael Cronin was in to score. But Balmain, just as Parramatta had reached the lead, came back, and it was Steve Roach, taking the tackle of Sterling, drawing another, and sending Gary Jack heading for the line, and half-time, 12-12. Michael Cronin places the ball for the restart. Mark Laurie is on for Parramatta, taking the place of uh, Paul Taylor. There's Laurie on camera in number 23. As uh, Cronin sets the second half in motion, well, Mark Laurie is the reserve grade centre for Parramatta, but uh, he's a very capable player, an excellent defender, and uh, I'm sure that Jack Gibson will use him in the lock forward position. This is David Brooks now. And Steve Sharp's hurt himself in that tackle as Lane goes away with it. Gets the ball away, it's on the ground, and I think it's a blue and gold ball, it is. It's been dived on by Laurie. Off goes Jurd to the blind, and Jurd is held just outside the Balmain 22. Stephen Edge has gone in to ruck half, and again they work that blind, and here's a penalty. Oh, it's right in front of the uprights, 20 metres out, and it should be pretty easy for Michael Cronin. Steve Sharp still getting some attention. He's on his feet now, and the peer's OK. And that's the, uh, the eighth time that the Balmain players have been penalised for being inside the five metres. Just a quick reminder while we're waiting for Michael to take this kick of the big activities out of Campbelltown this week. Thursday night at the Campbelltown Shopping Centre. As Cronin kicks the goal, sends Parramatta to a lead of 14 points to 12. Parramatta 14, Balmain 12. Yes, uh, 
there will be all the Newtown players there on Thursday night and then on Saturday at the game, the appearance of champion Veloso, Wayne Harris, touch football between the media and the oldies of the Newtown club during the halftime and first grade recess and $15,000 worth of uh, rugby league uh, supporters prizes to be given away to people in attendance next Saturday at Arana Park. This is Eric Groth now. Out to Sharp. Taken by the second row of Brooks and lock forward Pierce. Now it's with Bugden. Bugden working it ahead. And nearly able to get it away to Stephen Edge, but takes the tackle. Just short of the halfway. Out to Sterling. Sterling drops it onto the right foot. That uh, has stood up on the Balmain 22 and Larry Corowa now. Corowa goes back in field, runs into Mayers, coming in to make the tackle as well was Greg Henry, who came on during the first half replacing Ron Quinn. Henry, incidentally, is the halfback in third grade and captain of that side. Whitaker, and uh, oh, it's loose, and I think Parramatta have come up with it. Just outside the Balmain 22, again, Mark Laurie picking up some loose ball. It's out to Sterling, on to Mayers. Mayers uh, gets a pass inside to Kenny. Kenny up inside the quarter. Kenny tackled about 12 metres out from the line. And he plays it back to Eric Groth. They're going wide to the left, Parramatta. Henry mounts to Bugden. Bugden to Lydiard. Lydiard to Cronin. Cronin passes to Hunt. And Hunt scores. Well, Cronin could have most definitely scored his third try. But... He gave it to Neil Hunt to plant it down. Beautiful pass by Sterling. That had Alan Thompson written right across it. And a nice ball from Henry. Well done, Bugden. Lydiard's pass was good. And look at Cronin. Giving it to Neil Hunt. And Hunt picks up the try for Parramatta. Superb handling from Parramatta. That was the ball that made the try. Sterling read that the Balmain defence was spread out wide. A long ball. He cut out one man. Another great pass here from Lydiard and Cronin. As you said, could easily have gone in for their try. But Parramatta starting the second half in the right fashion. Neil Hunt, he's uh, scored a lot of tries this year. In fact, I think that takes him up around uh, 20. Yes, it does. 20 tries now for Neil Hunt. Mick Cronin taking the conversion attempt from right on the touchline, on the 22. Hasn't got much height, and it's just wide. So back to the halfway for the restart. Parramatta 18, Balmain 12. This is Lawson, met by the big men from Parramatta, Bugden and Mayers. Now this is Whitaker, and Balmain are right in the centre of the ground, 10 metres out from the Parramatta line. Out to uh, Ryan, and then a cutout pass to Pierce, but uh, Cronin was there waiting for him. And uh, Pierce will be told to play it. Dummy half is Ryan, and here's Roach now hitting it up. Sterling low, the pass to Brown, picked up by Kenny, Kenny, Brooks comes across, gives it to Eric Groth, coming across is Davidson, and Davidson makes the tackle, but Groth up and off again, goes up to the 22 line, whoa, now they'll stretch it quickly to the left with a quick play, the ball, they've outnumbered them about four to, uh, four to one out there if they can spin it, Mayers, Cronin, Sterling, Sterling, inside 22, holds it up, gives it to Hunt, and Hunt has tackled 10 metres out from the Balmain line. Play back to Sterling. Sterling comes uh, to the defence and gives it to Jurd. Jurd has tackled 10 metres out from the Balmain line. Injured in the back play is Eric Gross. It's with Stephen Sharp. Now it's Henry. Henry's tackled 8 metres out from the line. Plays it back to Stephen Edge. Switch of play. Back to Sterling. Now Cronin. Run around. Sterling. Picked up on the bounce by Hunt. Hunt decides to send a kick. Most of the uh, Parramatta players will have to be put on side. But it's taken by Wayne Pierce. Pierce plays it just in front of his uprights. This is Brooks. Grows back on his feet. Moving quite freely. Good recovery this by Balmain, although I'm pretty sure everyone's got that feeling that if Parramatta are the next to score, uh, they could easily run away with the match. Ball being played by Ryan. This is Roach. And uh, Roach is taken by two Parramatta players as uh, Bugden and Lane 
had their own uh, confrontation. Uh, the kick ahead by Gary Jack has been marked by Peter Sterling. He pirouettes out of a tackle, picks up David Lydiard. Lydiard gives it to Kenny. Kenny's away from Koroa. He's inside Hemsley. Listen to that crowd roar. Here's Lydiard. Now Growth. Growth goes for the corner, but the defence has got him, Gary Jack. Now they'll stretch it again quickly to the left. Uh, it's gone out now to Lydiard. Lydiard has gone to ground. Ten metres out. Dummy half is Steve Sharp. Parramatta piling on the pressure. Jer to Sterling. Sterling switches it. Back to Laurie. Laurie taken on the 10 metre line. And again Steve Edge goes into dummy half. Out it goes again to Sterling. Sterling turns it for Cronin. Cronin gets a pass down. Balmain's ball. Played by halfback lane. It's with Gary Jack. Met by Bugden and Mayers. On the 22 line. This is Bridge. Scored the first try of the match. Schofield. A settler. Taken by Edge and Bugden. Whitaker. Roach. Inside Jurd. Taken by Sharp and Edge. Tackle number five. Spun away to David Brooks. He puts in a kick between the centre and full back. Lydiard going back for it. This is him with the ball. Lydiard held deep inside his own territory. And Hunt will almost certainly have to run it out himself. And ooh, a shoulder hit from Hemsley. And uh, Hunt gets up now, plays it back to Edge. Edge gives it off to Jurd. Jurd. Uh, gets around the player, gets between them, picks up Kenny, picks up Growth, Growth flying, he centre kicks now, Laurie and Mayer's in pursuit, the bounce is um, favourable for Growth, Growth back in the centre of the ground, and tackled 12 metres out, oh the crowd goes back to their feet, but uh, this has got excitement in every second of it, Stephen Edge looking for runners, couldn't find them, and has pulled down 15 out from the line. Dummy half his growth again. Sterling says, give it here, I'll try it. Sterling shapes the kick and doesn't, then takes the defence. Tackle number five. Parramatta leading by 18 points to 12. Out to Mark Laurie. Laurie puts the bomb up, goes through, puts the ball on side, but Gary Jack is forced to rake it over the dead ball line. And a line drop out for the Balmain Tigers. There's the bomb from Laurie. Rank Arena replay. Gary Jack raking it over the dead ball line. And of course, with that six point lead that Parramatta have got, had they been able to kick a field goal there, and it wouldn't have been a bad tactic, it would have given that, uh, that seven point advantage and would have put Balmain just out of reach. The drop kick by Jack, taken by Lydiard. Lydiard's up to the 32 metre line and uh, plays at 25 out. Back to Sterling, onto Cronin. Now Henry, Henry taken in the cover there by Lane. Played back to Sharp. Sharp stands, gets it back to Henry. Off it goes to Cronin. Now Sterling. This is Jerd. Jerd up to the 32. Pass to Mayers. Mayers, ball knocked down by Koroa. Koroa going for it. Parramatta's got six more tackles now. Kenny comes up with it. Kenny is tackled. Midway 22, halfway. Balmain's under the ground. Out to Sterling. Sterling takes it up to the uh, the front line of defence for Balmain and is taken on the 32 and a penalty against Hemsley. Listen to the crowd. He's put him in the sin bin for 10 minutes and the entire stadium goes up as one man. Well, the crowd, the Parramatta crowd, has been uh, quite aggravated by Kerry Hemsley's hits in this match and uh, they gave the referee quite a rowdy reception as he came from the field at half time and they went up i'm not kidding you'd swear blind that Parramatta had scored a try when kerry hemsley was given 10 minutes by that man barry barnes and to be fair to barry barnes if we were watching just at half time that barnes did give him a, a caution as they were walking off the field obviously about his tackles being too high cronin has kicked three from seven Parramatta leading by 18 to 12 
and there's the sight that Michael Cronin's got for this kick. 32 out. Hits it. That looks nice off the boot. He's got it, Cronin. Parramatta leading by 20 points to 12. Lydiard should call this. No, Sterling's been allowed to take it. I was only making the comment at halftime to Bill Anderson for such a great side, the number of times you see a misunderstanding or a failure to call by Parramatta players on kicks, either kickoffs, but in particular bombs. Um, to me, it's quite amazing for a side that does everything else almost to the book. Here's Pierce taking it up to the 22 line. Dummy half is Bridge. Over it comes to Ryan. Ryan finds Jack. He's met by Jurd and Bugden. My God, Belmore showing the wear and tear of having two clubs use it as their home ground. It's uh, it's really a dust bowl. Uh, probably more than three quarters of the ground. Very hard to find a blade of grass as Pierce takes it up to the 10 metre line. Yes, Pierce taking the ball up again. He certainly hasn't let Belmont today down today with a wholehearted effort after 11 matches on the sideline. A kick through by Ryan, a chance for the Tigers. Lydiard's put it down. It's a try. It's a try. Scored by the wing three quarter Mark Lawson. Well, Lydiard had this ball and then he was hit hard. And uh, from the tackle, he lost the ball. So the Tigers have struck back. A neat kick by Ryan. And Lydiard had it. Bridge made the tackle. Ball dropped and Lawson plunged in to bring the Tigers back into it. Great variation from Balmain and a great fight back once again. Uh, a terrific kick from Ryan. This It's always a, uh, a troublesome sort of a ball, that bouncing ball, and well backed up by Balmain. Mark Lawson, 24 years of age, came from the North Ride Club. And uh, he's picked up a try that has certainly put the Tigers back in the ball game. Two from three for David Brooks. Uh, in fact, he missed a sitter. Which could well have uh, seen the score now. Well, it wouldn't. Uh, it could well have. It certainly would have seen the score at 20 points to 18. And this would, in fact, have uh, leveled the situation. We made comment at the time it could prove valuable. He's hit this one nicely. And he's got it. It's 20 points to 18. Parramatta leading Balmain. So the ball to be played by Gary Bridge. Now it's with uh, Gary Jack. And Jack has taken just outside the quarter. Cronin trying to steal the ball. And a penalty. Penalty to Balmain. This was the incident. The player held. Referee believing that the tackle had been affected. And then penalising Mike Cronin for stealing the ball. So the Tigers are trailing by just the two points. 20 points to 18. Three tries each. Played by Michael Schofield. Passed out wide to Wayne Pierce. And Pierce has taken to ground. He's 40 metres out. As it goes to Roach. Roach cut down by Laurie. The pass goes to Lane. And Lane is tackled. 20 Seven metres away from the Parramatta line. Play in centre field. Pierce juggles it, gets it back, gives it to Bridge. And Bridge is held there by Jurd, Bugden and Edge. Whitaker across to Pierce. Pierce taken by three Parramatta defenders again. Mears, Sharp and Laurie. Very slow to his feet that time, the Balmain uh, player. The kick put up by Ryan. He'll have to go fast to put them on side. Lydiard has put it down. It's picked up by a Balmain player. And the referee has ordered a knock-on. And a scrum in front of the Parramatta uprights. This was the bomb. And uh, Lydiard went for it. With uh, Gary Jack. And that's what the referee ruled. Parramatta winning the scrum. Henry gets his pass to Kenny. Kenny has split them. Kenny tackled 12 metres from the halfway. And that was a very good cover defensive tackle by David Brooks. Got out of the second row there and made an important tackle. Kenny looked like he was away for the money. Cronin getting a pass away to David Lydiard. Lydiard away from Corowa up to the halfway taken by Schofield. 
play in front of the grandstand as uh, Growth goes into dummy half. Growth passes, finds Henry. Henry getting out towards the centre of the field. Still yes, we have mentioned the possibility of Balmain making replacements, but it wouldn't at all surprise me to see Parramatta make replacements as well. This has been a very heavy, very physical game, and both sets of forwards are extremely tired. Ball played by Jurd. Edge passes and finds Sterling. Then to Sharp. Now to Bugden. Bugden looking to pass but takes it to ground. And five tackles gone against the Parramatta Reels. Back to Sterling. The midfield bomb from Sterling. Gary Jack underneath it. Sterling goes through. Jack takes the tackle or takes the mark and then takes the tackle. Ten metres on his side of the halfway mark. Gary Martini is getting ready to come on for the Parramatta side. This is David Brooks now. And still the tackles continue in their threes and fours. Um, it's gone now to Roach, and Roach is met by Sterling and Jurd. As so often happens when a team is uh, one short, uh, with Hemsley being sent to the sin bin, uh, the Balmain forwards have certainly lift their effort. It's been an enormous performance. Corowa taken to ground now. Benny Elias and Wayne Miranda are the two Balmain players uh, ready to come on. And this is Davidson through a tackle, gets the pass back, finds um, Ryan, Ryan gets his pass away to Lane, and Lane is hit from behind, but it's a penalty to Balmain. Yes, the Balmain player was held off the pass there, he was trying to run onto a ball, and uh, the Parramatta player held him off the ball. Gary Hemsley comes back from the sin bin, and uh, with his reappearance, so comes a mixed reception from the Belmore Sports Ground crowd. Corowa and Whittaker are the two players coming off as we watch the reason for the penalty. Whittaker comes off. Corowa has already gone into the tunnel. Benny Elias. Well, Elias will certainly provide Balmain with some sharpness around that dummy half area. He's a, an excellent dummy half runner and he'll put a lot of pressure on the Balmain, on the Parramatta forwards. David Brooks, it's a good kick. That's the equaliser. Balmain and Parramatta locked up 20 points all. Played by Wayne Pierce. From the dummy half comes Gary Jack. Parramatta will try to contain Balmain in this area. Um, Bugden, that's the applause you hear in the background, has just left the field. His place taken by Gary Martini as uh, Benny Elias looks for an opening. He's got play 12 metres from the halfway. That's tackle number five. And other Balmain players being spoken to by coach Frank Stanton. This is a good kick. It's found touch. It went over the head of Eric Groth and found touch just outside the Parramatta 22. The kick by Gary Jack. Eric Groth, I'm sure he thought it was going out on the full, but he was standing about five metres in from his touchline. And it just bounced in the field of play. Henry, held there by Ryan. Dummy half Lydiard, out to Cronin run around for Lydiard, but they've lost ground there as they come up the Balmain players and make the hit and drive Lydiard to ground. Schofield and Pierce making the tackle. Played by Lydiard, back to Martini, given to Sharp. And Sharp taken hard up the top by Hemsley. Down low was Pierce. Paul Mayers is the dummy half. This is Peter Sterling. Now Michael Cronin. Cronin holding players off with one hand, hanging onto the ball with the other. As he plays it, it's gone to Sterling. Sterling, met there by Benny Elias and two other Balmain defenders. Five tackles gone, 20 points all, Parramatta and Balmain. Penalty to Parramatta, inside the five against Balmain. Cronin taking the line kick. And uh, he's found it 32 metres out from the Balmain line. And surely now we should see uh, Parramatta try and work this ball straight towards the post uh, for five tackles and a field goal. Hunt just outside the court. Glenn Mansfield getting ready to come on for Parramatta as Mears goes up. And he's lost it. Balmain have come down with it. Benny Elias scurries away. 
played by Elias back to Hemsley, given off through Pierce to Lane. Lane, oh, he's away from edge. Mayers came at him though. And Lane it is who's going to play it. Back to Ryan. Ryan giving it to Hemsley. And the big Balmain front row forward is crunched to the ground. Plays it back to Benny Elias. Out to Lane. Now Schofield. Away to Brooks. And Brooks is tackled by Mark Laurie. Centre field, 10 metres, Balmain side of halfway. This is Roach. And again the tackle made by Laurie. Elias Ryan. That's the grub kick through that resulted in a try for Balmain. Lydiard has the uh, has the ball, but taken by Wayne Miranda. Played back to Eric Gross, and Gross taken by Davidson. Gets his pass to Sharp, and Sharp held by Elias. Bundled to the ground. Balmain really giving, uh, giving this match their best shot. Martini, short ball, Henry. Henry, outside the 32-metre line. Of course, this match is a big test for Balmain to see if it is worthwhile, if they can make a contribution when they get to the final five. They're going to get a good gauge of their abilities from their performance against Parramatta. And believe me, it's been a good one. Growth, tackle just in the field of play. And I think David Lydiard may have pulled a hamstring. He, no, he's clutching at his ankle. It's sharp now. Tackle on the Balmain 32. Five tackles gone for Parramatta. Played back to edge. Given off to Sterling. Sterling's gone for drop goal, but it's wide. And it'll come back to the 22 for the place kick restart by Balmain. Hardwick and Owens going on for the Balmain side. And I think uh, Wayne Pierce is one of the players to come off. Together with Steve Roach. Seven minutes of time remaining as David Brooks goes ahead. 20 points all. Frank clapping his players, patting Pierce on the face. Well done, he's uh, probably saying. Magnificent effort for a man who's been out for 11 matches. Schofield bulldogs his way ahead. Lane off from dummy half. To the halfway. Hardwick was coming up fast on his outside. It's come now to Elias. Out to Kerry Hemsley. On to Wayne Miranda. Now Henry has come off. Mansfield is on. Mansfield made that tackle. It's away now to Elias. Who puts the kick up. It's going over to the corner in front of the scoreboard. May even find touch. Neil Hunt has to hurry. But it's in the touch. Scrum. 10 metres out. Yes, and very important there. That ball was taken to the touch by the Parramatta player, and consequently, Balmain are going to have the feed and the loose head in this scrum. Just keeping an eye on Wayne Miranda. He's come on as a replacement, and he's the man that Balmain could be looking for to pot a field goal. I think you'll find the other fella that's uh, on there, um, Graham Benny Elias, has also got the ability to drop one over. You recall, I think, in Commonwealth Bank Cup matches, he did that. Here's David Brooks now. Balmain is three metres from the line. Brooks playing it back to Elias. Back it goes to Lane. Off it goes to Ryan. Ryan throws a big dummy. Taken in the defence there by Gary Martini. They're in perfect field goal position now. They shouldn't wait. Elias goes for it. Has it cleared the crossbar? No. No goal, says the referee. So back to the 22-way line for the place kick restart by the Eels. Still anybody's game. 20 points all. It's Mark Laurie. And that's Mansfield, the player of whom Parramatta has a very big opinion. Martini. By profession Martini, a pharmacist. This is Jurd. And play is midway, 22, halfway. Parramatta's into the ground. This is Sharp, infield for Sterling. Then to Kenny. Kenny, oh, he's given it straight back to Ron Ryan. Ryan for Balmain has the ball. Now the Tigers go into the attack again. 
Out through Lane. This is Gary Jack. They've got the numbers on the right, Balmain, but Lane is uh, Jack has tackled. Even from here, their tactics still shouldn't vary. They just should work at building the ball upfield towards the goal posts for four or five rucks until they can get within, say, 15 or 20 metres of the posts and then pot a field goal. Yes, they've definitely got to keep the ball away from the sidelines. Ball played by Hardwick, given to Hemsley. Hemsley taken high by Laurie. Mansfield driving in. Stephen Edge is still in there tackling. Um, probably his tackle count is up near the 40 again as the ball is fired back to Schofield. Schofield tackled 12 metres out. Wait for it. In the perfect position now for field goal. Here it goes. Back to Bammy Elias. Gets his kick in. It hasn't got the length and it'll go over the dead ball line. So it's coming out to the 22 for the restart. And on that occasion, uh, Wayne Miranda had positioned himself in field waiting for it and I was expecting him to get the ball. So the 22 place kick by Parramatta now. 20 points all. Inside the last five. Oh, nearly a costly mistake made there by Mansfield. It's going to take the expertise of a man like Cronin or Kenny to get them out of this as Mayers goes downfield. Lydia did well. Martini's done likewise. Kenny's looking around for players. Oh, his pass has gone in front of Grove. Goldman with the feed. Uh, look like they might be the last ones to have another crack at a field goal. This was Brett Kenny. Throwing the pass in front of Eric Grove. Scrum. Won by the Tigers. Play on, says the referee. Played by Lane, who's played very well for the Balmain side. Well, this should be almost like an instant replay of the last time Balmain had the ball. They'll work the ball up to four or five towards the goal posts, get their, goal, their field goal kickers, such as Wayne Miranda and Ben Elias, into position, and then try to pot it. I doubt that uh, anyone has left this... Uh, Belmore Sports Ground, 20 points all, dying seconds of the proceedings. Balmain just working it, edging it up for the drop shot. Miranda's fallen in behind the ruck. The big pass, it's a penalty to Balmain. Right in front. Parramatta getting offside at the play of the ball. Look at Frank Stanton. This was the play of the ball. Oh, the referee was looking straight at Mansfield as the ball was played and uh, he's given the penalty to David Brooks. Four out of five. He missed a kick earlier in the match. A simple kick which we described then. It may prove costly in the final wash-up. Here he has his chance to bring himself out of it. He's got it! Leading by 22 points to 20. Whoa! The Tigers. And Frank Stanton Smile. Get that one on a still frame. Look at the black and golds. They're loving it. Fifteen seconds of the match remaining. Michael Cronin will use the shallow kickoff. No Sterling comes in and takes it. It's gone over the shoulder of Gary Bridge and Davidson takes it into touch. The scrum about to uh, pack the Belmain player saying that the siren has sounded and there it is. It is all over. Belmain have defeated Parramatta by 22 points to 20. For the Tigers, Bridge, Jack and Lawson tries. Brooks, five goals. For Parramatta, Cronin, two tries, Hunter try, Cronin, four goals. Final score, 22 points to 20 in favour of the Tigers. And we're back with the Rank Arena Electronic Sales and Rentals Man of the Match in just a moment. In a magnificent Balmain victory, our Rank Arena Man of the Match, their second rower, David Brooks. David, you would have to rate that surely, uh, the Tigers' best performance of the season. Yes, Graham, definitely the best. Uh, the front row laid the foundation for the, a good team win. We stuck to our pattern, the pattern came off and we just bustled them and it was a, a good win in the end. The important question, what was going through your minds in that last 30 seconds as you well, took that all-important kick for goal? Oh, Frank had been telling me to practice during the week and just keep, to keep my head down and hope it went straight, that was all. Well, it certainly did go straight. 
from Rank Arena and Electronic Sales and Metals. Eight hundred dollars worth of product, as well as three hundred movie swaps. Thanks, Graham. And good luck for the semi Thanks very much. Thanks to Electronic Sales and Metals. A jubilant Balmain dressing room after their victory here today over one of rugby league's tall poppies, Parramatta.